Hello friends, uh, this is Durga again from ITVersity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. Recently, I have started a playlist um, about how to become a professional blogger. And uh, we, um, as part of this playlist, we'll see end-to-end -end how to become a blogger, how to market yourself, how to run uh, uh, the own website. And targeted audience for this playlist can be anyone who want to run their blogging website by themselves, even though they don't have uh, enough IT experience. Okay, so that being said, as part of this video, we will see how to set up our blogging website on um, uh, on hosting platform called DigitalOcean. So to understand that, uh, first uh, you need to understand what is WordPress and what is uh, DigitalOcean, and based on that, we can actually plan to build um, uh, our website on hosting platforms called uh, such as DigitalOcean. Okay, so. Let me open this one and I will explain what all will be covered uh, one after the other. First, let us see what is WordPress. WordPress is nothing but a software, okay? And uh, to, uh, typically the software will be running on uh, some server, um, a physical server such as your laptop or your desktop, whatever it is. And in that, there are some software servers. So hardware servers, are the ones which will actually uh, run the software and there will be some software servers such as Apache Web Server, uh, Nginx, NGINX Server, and there are many other servers. And WordPress is a PHP-based software and typically it runs on something called Apache Web Server. So we have to build the code and we have to deploy on that Apache Web Server which will be running all the time. So it requires hardware. On that, you need to have something called operating system, such as Windows, Linux, etc. On top of that, you need to have some software server process running called Apache Web Server. On that, you will deploy the WordPress. If you have to do all these things um, by yourself, it takes an enormous amount of time and it, it is also expensive to set up the uh, server uh, or even on your PC. Yeah, uh, uh, from several aspects, you have to pay a lot of money for a, for a good uh, desktop or good server, and then you have to spend a lot of time in operating system, uh, setting up operating system. You have to spend a lot of time on many other aspects uh, to set up, and it, it is not uh, uh, that easy for non-IT professionals. However, good news is you don't need to be non-IT professional, and uh, sorry, you don't need to be IT professional, and at the same time, you don't need to set up on your PC or on your desktop at your home. There are many cloud-based services which provide um, the infrastructure at very low cost and you can kickstart within no time, okay? And uh, the, the, uh, the hosting services are DigitalOcean, Amazon Web Services, etc. So as part of this one, this video, we will primarily focus on the DigitalOcean. So let us understand what is the DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is a cloud-based uh, hosting service where you can host your applications in their cloud. They provide the infrastructure which is completely uh, all the complexities related to hardware is hidden from you. You don't need to worry about it. At the same time, they will provide all the required um, uh, 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 required capabilities to keep your website up and running 24 by 7. As long as uh, you you get um, the server with enough capacity that is more than enough uh, to run your website 24 by 7. DigitalOcean will take care of all the aspects of it. So this is how the DigitalOcean website will look like. Uh, to get started, you can give your email address here and then password here, okay? And then you can create an account. You will be immediately logging into the uh, DigitalOcean, okay? Once you log in, Typically, you will see this interface. If you don't have anything here, you, will, uh, you might see some empty space or you might see some home page of the DigitalOcean, okay? In our case, we are trying to create a new server uh, to demonstrate. Hence, I'll be using the create droplet. So once you create, click on create droplet, it will show various options. E either you can choose a distribution. Distribution is nothing but a Hardware with operating system on it. Operating system can be Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS, etc. 
and also they have something called one click apps if you just use this one you have to set up once you have the operating system you have to set up the web server you have to copy wordpress code and you have to deploy again it is complicated for that we need to see if there is any one click app and luckily for wordpress we have a one click app we have to select this one it has to be highlighted and then you can choose the plan so with five dollar per month you will be paying uh, you will be getting 512 mb ram with 20 gb hard 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 disk and this can actually support 200 300 viewers per day easily okay uh, only thing is if if all the 200 users try to hit your website at the same at the same time then there could be some issues otherwise it works perfectly 512 mb is uh, uh, very good uh, is good enough to run your uh, website with 100 to 200 uh, viewers per day okay and uh, there are alternatives to digital ocean such as aws aws gives one year free up to one gb and then they will charge after one year and we will see that uh, even on uh, we will see how to set up even on aws a little bit later but this lotion uh, is a little bit more straightforward than aws aws also very close to launch but uh, aws might require some uh, additional effort to set up the website then choose this one five dollar per month that is good enough to start with and you, you don't need to worry about anything else and then you you have to enable backups if you don't enable the backup if for some reason if, due to the bug in the code or due to manual error if the um, uh, if the uh, server got uh, terminated or your uh, uh, your software server which is running your website is being terminated then you will not be able to rebuild for that reason we have to take periodic backups and uh, by enabling this one they charge one dollar per month um, for this configuration if you go with higher configuration you will you need to pay more so it's typically 20 percent of your uh, droplet cost okay i will highly recommend to enable this one if you want to build your website seriously and then you can choose the name let me name it as itversity hyphen demo and this name is not your website so you this doesn't mean that once it is set up you can go to the browser and say itversity.com uh, itversity-demo.com it will not work you have to go to websites such as godaddy buy the domain and you have to register that domain with uh, with uh, digital ocean so that both are mapped and you can uh, uh, you can access your website using readable uh, dnfs such as itversity-demo that being said you can click on create here it will just take few minutes uh, to create uh, this um, uh, to create this uh, uh, droplet which is nothing but a server which have operating system which have apache web server which have wordpress code deployed on it so uh, as an image amateur it uh, if you are amateur for uh, uh, it uh, still you don't need to worry much um, about anything and yet you can access your uh, uh, website easily okay now it is uh, almost done you can click on this to see uh, the droplet has been created okay and then you need to access it uh, for several reasons for example now you got the ip address you can copy it and you can access it uh, you can access your wordpress installation using this ip address but what it is saying it is saying log into your droplet via ssh to enable your wordpress installation so you have to log into the droplet so how you can uh, log into the droplet is you have to click on access and here you have something called reset root password you will get an email with a hard-coded root password okay i'm choosing this one reset root password it will take a moment to generate that password And this is the IP address which we need to use. So let's copy this one while it is being created. And then say root at that IP address. We need to wait until the password is reset. Most likely it would have been emailed by now to my email ID. So I'm opening up my email ID.
okay now you can see that password is reset you will get email id like this you just have to okay not this one we just yeah this is the one uh, yeah this is the current one we have to use this one don't worry that i am displaying the password it will be changed immediately yes and then paste it and hit enter now you are uh, logging into the server paste the password and then i have to give the new password now the wordpress has been enabled now if i go to my browser and give the same ip address and run this it will ask you to finish the setup process you can hit continue over here site title let me name it as itversity hyphen demo username uh, let me give it as itversity and copy this password running at itversity.com and uh, uh, if you enable this one search engines will not be crawling your website and they will not be able to uh, do anything okay click on install wordpress and then click on login give your username which is itversity in this case password which i have copied from there click on remember me login okay so as the password is uh, uh, publicly visible i want to first reset my password so i'm going to use this edit and uh, okay i cannot change the a more readable password here okay okay let me pause it for a moment let me stop sharing my screen i will share my screen again in a moment now i am going back to my uh, console my admin console of uh, uh, the wordpress which is deployed on distalocean i have copied the password okay and i have uh, changed the password successfully now i am sharing my screen again okay uh, as the password is changed i am logging out and typing the username paste the password click on remember me click on login and i logged in so it's always better to change the password but you cannot give the readable name uh, for administrators hence we have to use the auto generated ones only okay so now you have uh, 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 something called wordpress admin console so this is called as wordpress admin console and this is the most basic admin console and the more components we start using uh, the more new components we will add going forward this console layout will change significantly as of now you have only posts media pages comments appearance plugins etc you need to understand most of these things and eventually uh, we will see uh, how what are uh, different aspects of, uh, you need to understand for all these things okay so we have set up uh wordpress on digital ocean and we are able to validate that it is set up successfully and we are also logged in uh, to the uh, wordpress admin console as part of the next video we will try to map this to a public domain i will just show the instructions i might not be able to do 
end to end uh, i will try if possible i will do otherwise i will just show the instructions about how to map your wordpress installation on digitalocean to a public domain such as www.itwashi.com so that um, you have a readable uh, domain name for your website rather than using ip addresses such as this one okay so that being said i hope you're enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video or if you like uh, like the idea of this playlist uh, please click on the like button uh, if you uh, if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video and uh, um, uh, please feel free to share the content on my uh, website with others and if you want to follow me on social networking platforms you can go to uh, you can look into my uh, uh, description portion of my videos and you can see that i am socially connected uh, on um, several uh, uh, social networking platforms and uh, uh, you can follow me on any of these things to get frequent updates from my side that being said thank you bye